Bet Online is the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything football. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads to bet on during the games. You think you know your stuff? We'll get in on our $200,000 mega contest and pick five games against the spread every week for your chance at a weekly prizes at a share of 200 k $200,000 is ridiculous. When the game's over, head on over to our online casino and get in a game of blackjack or poker or unwind with one of our over 150 slot games. Head to the website today to get in the action. Bet online. The game starts here. Okay, this is the next one. Tad from Town. Hi, guys. Hi, guy. Subject is the boys. I saw a recent interview with Booker T interviewing The Undertaker. During the interview, they were talking about the differences between now and back then. It made me think about all the different things that wouldn't fly now that would fly back then. For Conan and Disco, are there stories you remember from your careers where things may have gotten out of hand or some crazy things happened you'll never be able to talk about it? Or maybe a story you can talk about? P.S. Disco, it is super annoying when people complain about you, how you interrupt people, because that is entertaining. And most of the time, what you're saying makes more sense to the other person. Maybe that's the that's my way of trying to run for the office of the mayor of K100. P.P.S. Go Texans. Interesting. Oh, by the way, there was a vote, supposedly, in the Discord for the mayor of K- K100, Conan. Did you hear about this? No. They voted in the Discord, and I guess this girl Nicole won, or Bam, who who won, Joe? So Bam won the election, and then and then she she conceded the election. She conceded right? it and and returned the mayorship to the mayor. So right. Was, I don't know. Okay, that's but, an elaborate ruse or what's right. going on. There. I want you to go in the Discord, and then all the Discord people that are listening to this to hear that I am not accepting the results of the election. It's being contested. Okay, I'm not. Yes, the, the election is contested. Number one. How many illegals voted in the – how many people that aren't American voted the election? Okay, did we allow people that aren't from this country vote? And if we did, their votes can't be counted. So I'm, I'm nullifying the – what do you call it when the, the certification of the, of the election? So there is still no mayor of K-100. So then what's the next step? You have to preside over an election? I'll go in the Discord and make check statement. check IDs and stuff like that to make sure. I'll that. go in the Discord and make a statement. <laughs> no, bro, just, the, just the, the, the locker room, like if – you know – the the locker room had a had a like a man's man culture. A lot of ribbing, you know, a lot lot of ball busting. Steiners would go around bullying people, but it was like, you know, the, but it wasn't like like hateful but it's just like the, the Steiner brothers, that's what they do. They 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 like they bully people, you know? But it's like things like that just wouldn't people just get offended and if you let the mark dirt cheat people get a hold of it now, they would like fake outrage and tweet and write stories about it. It's just, it's just ridiculous, you know. Like the new thing, what what were the, the fightful? They were talking. About, they're the ones that have been on this thing about how all of a sudden now there's not a black representation on on WWE or something. And I'm like, you know, because and Triple H was insensitive for saying he doesn't see color; he just sees talent. Right. And I'm like, everybody oh. sees color. I don't understand that remark. But anyways, well, here's the, well, here's he's, the, he's, he's 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 saying like I'm not booking based on color. I'm booking based on talent. Okay, I could believe that. Right, that's what but when saying. I hear people say, I don't see color, I'm like, that's ridiculous. We all right. see colors and nationalities. So, bro, yeah, everybody knows that the 90s were a wilder time where you could get away with a lot more shit. Like, you know, Raven walking around a disco with his cock out. He would have been fired today. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah, couldn't do right. that. Right. You know, we did a lot of wild shit that we would have been fired too. Right. So, I mean, it's just a different time. You know, yeah. right now, people are way more sensitive, way more easily outraged. A lot of beta cucks that went, oh, you know, oh, I can't believe you did this. All right, motherfucker, then don't look. For the amount of wrestlers that are offended by fan interactions. Right. Like, you know, I mean, that's the thing. Like, that would, that would never have flown. Like, if you came back, and we're talking about how a, a fan got to you and said a mean thing to you and stuff like right. like, you, uh, like you would you would live it down. Yeah, you you would get to, you'd be, you'd have been ball busted for for like weeks. You know? right. Did you Maybe. see Dax Harwood coming out during the pay per view and attacking <laughs> JD from New York? I don't oh, I commented on that. Did you didn't see my my, no, my no, post? No. Oh. What happened? I did not see oh, this. Okay, I'll, I'll all right. So I'll, I'll, let me read it because I, I I commented on Dax's post. Okay. All right. Look, look, okay, this is interesting. Yeah, it's interesting you brought that up. I thought you would have seen this. I, I saw. Not. I saw Dax getting drugged for it. For like, what are you like? Isn't there paper? Well, you get drugged by now? me a little. I'm not, okay. All right, here he is. So, so JD from New York. This is during the pay per view. Okay, JD from New York tweeted: Jimmy Jacobs resigns from AEW after Tony Khan publicly stated he was seated as his right hand man creatively. Oh yeah, something doesn't smell right with this one. He is quote burnout. From what? What do you burn out by? You work working one day a week with Tony with 
He worked one day a week with Tony Khan making up a majority of the show and what he wants to see. The report also cited the split was amicable. Of course it was. That's what AEW wants you to believe. Tony Khan hears and sees the discourse about how terrible his on-air product is and needs someone to blame. Tony Khan certainly can't be blamed. No one will publicly admit there is wrong. Everything is effing great. Though I guarantee if he, if you ask people there, everything is not great. Jimmy Jacobs was quite capital letters fired. And Jimmy Jacobs is a scapegoat for quote unquote better television. I see it already. Quote, look, guys, change is coming. I'm actively making changes, unquote. Sure thing, Tony. It starts and ends with you. Everybody else's opinion is dust in the wind. Might as well call, start calling yourself a McMahon. The similar flarities are scary. So then Dax replies <laughs> to this. Dude, I feel so sorry for you. Like, we get that you're a mark and you love that another company makes you feel special, but my God, dude, if I hated something as much as you hate AEW and Tony, I'd stop watching it, Right. It's almost stalker-like how infuriated, infatuated you are with Tony and this company. You make it pretty obvious that you're a mark. I'm a mark too, but I don't make YouTube channels to yell and scream about an owner of a company not giving me what I want. I just enjoy wrestling. I'm doing real-life things like paying my mortgage, making sure the bills are taken care of, and my tequila cabinet is full. But you, you're making tweets and videos about the AEW product. He puts the, the smiley face with the tears. I'm sure you'll say, oh, my God, this guy's writing AEW. Or, guys, look at him sticking up for the company he works for. What an idiot, right? But, my God, man, we get it. You love SmackDown and Raw. Effing go watch it. Leave us alone. LOL. Anyway, House of Glory has asked for FTR to be part of their show. I hope to see you there, brother. So I I actually got a lot of comments on this this tweet, too, by the way. I, I quote, quote tweeted what Dax just said. I said, this is pretty funny. The only reason AEW exists is because it was born out of a fan base of people that were vocal about their displeasure with the WWE product when it wasn't good. Now people voicing their displeasure with the AEW product when it's not good is quote unquote hate. LOL. It's like, it's like these guys keep using the word hate. Like, hey, it's like, dude, nobody hates AEW or hates Tony. We're watching the show. It's not good. People aren't coming to watch the shows live and you're losing fans on TV. It's like you'd be an idiot to to heap the praise that that you that we do towards a show that's got sold out arenas and doing record business. It's like you did like they think you're supposed like there's such fans of their show that they can't even see when the show's doing poorly. Like wait you know, a minute, so, do I see a comment from Hughesley? Does Hughes, yes, you oh, do. does Hughesley comment on that too? It, it, it's, good, it's good that maybe, Dax. Maybe you did, yeah. You know. It was good that Dax took a break from wanking the Bret Hart matches to take the time to tweet some kids. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That is so funny. Bro, you know this funny thing about this is is that, like, I, I mean, these guys obsess over this stuff. You know, I, I go on Twitter, I look and see a thing, and then I come on our show, and it's like, I don't think about this at, at any other point during the week except when I come on here. <laughs> right. You know? <laughs> so right. It's or if you like see that. it on Twitter. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content. And being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.